Hello, everyone, and welcome to this educational presentation, where today we're going to be talking about how to improve your entries with this technique. I'm going to share with you a technique that you can actually start using as early as today, and it really is basically designed to get you in when you think you've missed a trade. So many times, prospective students and ongoing students will tell me, Steve, I, I was watching this and I forgot about it, or I was uh, really taking care of this uh, other issue and I missed this trade entirely and I don't know how to get back in. This is one of the main purposes and one of the main advantages of this technique that we're gonna be talking about today. For example, let's take an older look at this chart now. And this is a uh, chart in, uh, it's a weekly chart actually in FCX. Let's say you were watching this and you were very interested in buying this, but for one reason or another, something happens, you miss it, or uh, you walk away from your computer at the time. And then the next thing you know, the stock has really taken off. And you say to yourself, I can't buy it now. This is where I was thinking of maybe selling it. So you say to yourself, uh, another, I'll chalk this up to another missed trade, all right? Well, with today's educational presentation, I'll share with you a technique that actually would have had you buying right here, even when you thought that this stock had run out of gas and you could have potentially captured another 16 points. And this is when you thought that you would actually miss the trade entirely. That's the beauty of this technique that you'll see. And just with a few simple indicators, one of our proprietary tools, it's really simple to apply. One of the other reasons why it's so simple to apply is because the market is always giving you another chance to enter. You see, most people think, well, I missed it. And gosh, that's it. Now you got to chase it and just uh, you know buy it just based off discretion or just based off greed or anger that you missed it. But this is giving you a chance with a full set of rules and structure so that you can actually get in at an opportune time. And remember, everything you're seeing today is one click away on our platform, the PTS Primo charting platform that I developed with ProTrader Strategies that actually teaches you how to improve your entries. So welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo, president and founder of Specialist Trading. I've been trading now for 46 years. So that's the main reason why we developed and started Specialist Trading. When I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies about 13 years ago, the main reason was simply to educate traders. Now, when I first started trading on the floor of the stock exchange, I didn't have any education. I know a lot of people think, well, Steve, you know, you had advanced education. You knew a lot about the markets. I knew absolutely nothing about the markets when I walked on the floor. I didn't know anything. I didn't know what a buy was from a sell. And I learned a lot of things that really helped to sustain me. Now, unfortunately, the things I did learn in the beginning were the things that actually almost ruined my career. And these are the things that most people base their trading on. Things like earnings reports, things like uh, you know uh, overbought and oversold indicators, uh, things like uh, uh, unemployment numbers. I was basing all my trading off those uh, conventional wisdom uh, type of trading rules, and none of them seemed to work. But ultimately, my mentors taught me things that really have sustained me. And that's why we formulated specialist trading, to teach and to educate traders around the world all the things that I've learned that have really sustained me and that really stood the test of time so that ultimately you can be in charge of your own trading. That's what it's all about, taking charge of your own trading. And you'll see that in today's educational presentation. Now, before we begin, once again, as always, we are required to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of results using this particular entry technique. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And also, since we are first and foremost an educational company, all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, a lot of students like to get education on a daily basis rather than wait for a course or for a weekly webinar. So one way to do that is to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. Well, we uh, post uh, roughly anywhere from five to six different snapshots a day, any, anything from financial wisdom to actual snapshots of signals that our strategies and techniques have generated. So there's lots of great free education on a daily basis. Please feel free to follow us on Twitter. Okay, once again, uh, I often say this at the beginning of my presentation because we have a lot of new students I see here today, and a lot of people think that, well, if I come to this webinar, this guy's going to tell me what the market's going to do, or he's going to tell me what uh, he's touting for this week, what the best stock is to buy or what I should sell. 
that goes completely against our philosophy of education. Remember, as an educator, we never try to predict or tell anyone what we think the market's going to do because we simply are trend followers. We follow whatever the market's doing. If the market's going down, we're sellers. If the market's going up, we're buyers. And we teach you all of our proprietary different ways in which to do that. You see, a good educator does not trade for his student. He teaches them how to trade. So that's the, the backbone behind all of our education and specialist trading. We're really trying to mentor you and to educate you so that ultimately you can take power of your own trading, right? That's the specialist edge. That's what has sustained me now going on 46 years, and hopefully it will be able to do the same for you. Now, a few things before we begin in just a few seconds. Uh, once again, ask me as many questions as you like, but please wait till the end of class to ask questions. I promise I'll get to them at the end, but if we stop for every slide here, I have about 150 slides to share with you. We'll be here far too long on your Wednesday, so please write them down and try to remember them. I promise I'll answer your questions at the end. Uh, also, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. Uh, we're also being live streamed uh, right now as well on uh, YouTube. So lots of ways to watch us. Welcome all the people on YouTube and welcome to all the people watching this over the internet. And at the end of this presentation, everyone will get a link to this recording. Okay, so you can watch it at your own leisure. All right, with that stated, let's begin today's educational presentation. And what we're going to be talking about today is a great tool. In fact, it's one of our most popular tools, if not the most popular. It's the PTSXT. It stands for the Extreme Trend Indicator. This is what we're going to be using today, and it's really, or I should say extremely, simple to apply. All right, here's the trading process. Let's say we're a buyer. Let's say we're interested in buying something. Here's how simple it is to apply. All right, let's go back to that chart we were looking at, FCX, right? Let's say you were interested in this, and then all of a sudden it got away from you for one reason or another. You missed it entirely, right? And at this point, you say to yourself, well, it's too late now. I can't jump in now. But is it really too late? Here's where the PTSXT comes in, because it's designed to identify extreme trends while they're happening. So here's what we do. Rule number one, plot the PTSXT extreme trend indicator. Now, this is a color block. OK, so if we're looking for buys, what we want to find as we plot it on our, uh, our uh, platform right here, is simply click this on. Click on highlight signal. And if it's, it's an extreme uptrend, as deemed by the uh, proprietary indicator, you'll see a yellow block. And there is one. This is our yellow buy, buy block. So this means that it is currently in an extreme uptrend. It's not predicting how high it's going to go or how long it will last, but it's telling you at the moment we are in an extreme uptrend. And most likely it's going to continue until price goes out of that block. Now, this block never repaints itself. It never recolors itself. It will always stay there with each preceding or each following bar. If the indicator deems that it's still in an extreme uptrend, price will remain in that yellow block. So here's what we want to do. Now we go to Rule number two, in the yellow buy block, we want to buy the bar whose close is below or less than the previous bar's low. Okay, so think of two bars. Bar number one, we want to find out what that low is, the extreme low, not the close, but the low, the low of the wick. And then we want to find the second bar closing below that low. So let's take a look. All right, we see the bars here. Is there a bar that closed below the low? We see a lot of closes lower, but they're not below the low, the extreme low, until we get to these last two bars here, okay? Here is the low of this bar, and we closed below. So the close is below the previous bar's low. So what does this mean? When we see this pattern in the yellow buy block of the PTSXT, that is a buy setup, okay? Now, since this is just a technique, it's not a strategy, a full-fledged strategy with exit rules and stop placement and money management. It's just a technique to identify a high probability entry point. You can buy wherever you like. You can buy on the close. You can place a lower limit. You can uh, place it using a confirmation method, meaning it has to trade above that bar or maybe above the previous bar. It's entirely up to you. Either way, though, you should be looking at this from a buyer's bias because that's where you could have taken advantage of the remaining 16 points that happened, okay? See how simple this was? And did you hear me mention anything about earnings? Did you hear me mention anything about overbought, oversold, 
Or how about uh, maybe what some guru was saying on TV? No, we're only looking at price behavior, all right? That's the cornerstone behind all of our education. We're looking at price and market behavior because that basically tells you just about everything you need to know. Now, what if we're looking at sales? What if we want to go short? Well, we first have to go through that process, but we reverse it. So let's look at this chart here in SPY, this older chart in SPY. And obviously it's been going lower. And you say to yourself, okay, well, this is in a downtrend, but all of a sudden, look what happens. It bounces. You say to yourself, well, you know, that guy on TV or that guy in that chat room says, we just made a low here. It's time to go long, okay? So what does the process tell us? Well, the first thing we want to do is plot the PTSXT to tell us if we're in an extreme uptrend. For all we know, that guru on TV or that guy in the chat room could be right. Maybe we're in extreme uptrend, but we won't know until the market tells us. We're not going to listen to some guy who we have no idea uh, how his uh, you know, uh, experience is or what type of results he's getting. We're only going to listen to the market. That's all that matters. So once again, on our platform, click on the PTSXT on the platform. In the drop-down menu, click on Highlight Signal. And remember, the last setup we had had the yellow buy block. So we were in an extreme uptrend. But look what happened now. We're in a red sell block, all right? You're only going to get two blocks if there's an extreme trend, either the yellow for the buy setups or the red for the sell setups. So I don't care what some guy says on TV or in a chat room. I don't care what the earnings estimates are. You should be looking at this from a seller's perspective. All right, let's go to rule number two. In the red sell block, we want to sell the bar whose close is greater than, whose close is above the previous bar's high. So this is the same as the, uh, as the buy setup, but we're just uh, turning things upside down. So we want to see a bar whose close is above the previous bar's high. So we see here that now these closes are lower and lower. We have a higher close here, but it's not above the high. Ah, but what do we have here? Here's the high of this bar, and we closed above it. The close is above the previous bar's high. So where some guy in a chat room is telling you to buy to go long, the market, not me, I'm not giving out any sell signals or in a, in a chat room. We don't believe in that. The market is telling you, no, we want to go lower, okay? And look what happened. In the next three to four weeks, you could have potentially captured 90 points. Now, that's the spider, the ETF that represents the S&P, all right? If you want to transfer that onto Dow points, well, in the next three or four weeks, the Dow went down roughly about 8,500 points. So you could have used this as a market directional tool, apply it to an ETF. The same setups apply on any market, okay? It makes no difference. So you see how simple this is? Remember, trading is simple. It's the trader who makes it more difficult than it has to be. We never look at anything fundamental in the markets. Trust me, I have traded basically all on fundamental news. As a specialist on the floor of the exchange, I had to make markets in roughly about 60 stocks. And each one of those stocks, I had to know all about the inner workings of the company. I had to know about the CEOs. I had to know about which direction the companies were going. I also had to know about the earnings estimates of each one. Okay, So I had all that fundamental information in the back of my hand. And guess what? It didn't make me a dime. It wasn't until I stopped looking at fundamental news altogether that I started becoming consistent. Now, remember, as an educational company, we're not telling you how to trade. If you feel you need to look at fundamental news, then by all means, go ahead. But just remember, as an educational company, it is not required in any of our teaching. In fact, it makes trading so much more simpler if you don't have to use that because so much of fundamental analysis is, is really subjective. How many times have you heard some great news come out and the market or the stock goes down or vice versa, right? Terrible news and it goes straight up. It's too, just too subjective. We want things that are more really black and white, more cut and dry. Like you see this pattern, you just know whether you should be buying or selling, things like that. That's what makes trading simple and that's what makes you a more consistent trader. Now, if you missed that, the beauty of this technique is that there are more signals and setups being generated along the way. Okay, so let's look at some more recent PS, PTSXT entry setups, okay, using the same techniques for buys and for sells. So let's look at some other timeframes, some of the markets as well. 
All right, let's look at MAR, Marriott, okay? This was in July, mid-July coming into August. It's been going up, right? But all of a sudden, it starts to falter. We have a couple of bad down days. You may say to yourself, hey, this is resistance, right? I took that $10,000 course on support and resistance, and this is major resistance. All the banks are selling. And on top of that, I took that $5,000 course on candlesticks, and this is a bearish engulfing pattern. This is extremely bearish. So you talk yourself into not buying this at all. In fact, you say to yourself, you know what? I'm going to sell. I'm going to buy some puts or I'm going to go short. Okay. This is the way most traders make their decisions based on outside information that really doesn't have a lot of uh, consistency. I know because this is the way I used to trade. And secondly, this is why most traders fail. Roughly about 85% of all traders fail, basing their decisions off faulty information. What is the market? telling us through the PTSXT. Well, once again, we click it on, on the platform. In the drop-down menu, click on highlight signal. And it's actually telling us we should not be selling at all. In fact, we shouldn't even consider selling because we're in a, uh, a buy block, a yellow buy block. So now let's look for that pattern that we just taught you, okay? Now we want to find two patterns and um, two bars, I should say, and one of those bars closes below the low of the previous bar, okay? So these bars don't qualify. But look what happened here. Here's the low, and we closed below. And in fact, we did it again right here. So if we're not going to be selling, here's a buy setup, and here's another buy setup. So we had two chances to go long when everyone else was seeing that this was meeting resistance, or when everyone else was saying this is a bearish engulfing pattern, you got to get out. And you could have potentially captured 20 points coming into last week in August. And once again, if you happen to miss them, the market is always giving you another chance to get in as this pattern keeps recurring and recurring as long as you're in the yellow buy block. All right, let's look at DXCM. Obviously, we've been going lower, right? We're starting up here and we're heading down lower. So we're in some type of a downtrend. So you say to yourself, well, all right, I don't want to buy, but I want to look for some type of sign of what I should do. And then you go to that chat room and the guy says, well, here's your sign. It's tremendously oversold. In fact, we've never been at these levels of being oversold in a long time. So you got to start consider buying this, all right? And in the next three or four days, it actually does start to go up. So you say to yourself, wow, I can't miss this. I've got to buy this, all right? So let's say you buy right here thinking that guy in the chat room is going to be right and it's going to go all the way back up to making new highs. This is why most traders fail. Once again, 85% of most traders fail. You're following or listening to someone or something that does not have a high level of consistency. We click on the PTSXT, which is based on market behavior. Click on the highlight signal. And where you think the market is oversold, it actually is in a red sell block. So this is actually telling you it's time to look for a selling opportunity. So we're not going to be considering buying at all. We want to find a bar that closes above the previous bars high. So we look here. We don't see it anywhere here except right here, actually. On the very bar that you were buying, a sell signal was generated. Okay. Now, look what happened. It didn't go down a lot more, but it still went down. It went down 10 points. So what you could do is, even if you didn't want to go short, we know we have a lot of students that don't like to short markets, they don't feel comfortable. Well, you could use this to wait to get in. Because if you see a sell signal using this technique, this is your sign to say, well, you know what? Most likely this is going to be going lower. I'm going to wait till this pans out. Another way in which to use the PTSXT in this technique. All right, let's look at INTU, Intuit, all right? It's in the yellow buy block. Here's that pattern. In fact, we have two. Here's one buy setup right here. This was at the end of July. And here's another one. Look what happened coming into August. 28 points in a little over a week. Okay. Now, someone could have said, but Steve, if we just backtrack, look at all these down days here. This is really bad. The sellers are in charge. Well, going forward, how in charge were they? Because we were up 20 points, 28 points higher in the next week. Remember, as long as you're in a yellow buy block, the odds are in your favor that it's going to go higher. Using this technique just adds a little structure so that you can get in. All right, let's look at ANSS. All right, obviously, we're in a red sell block. We look for that two-bar pattern, which is right here. We close above the previous bar's high, and it continued 15 points lower. Once again, 
Not a lot, but still, if you were thinking about buying, you could have saved yourself 15 points by looking at this technique. Let's look at ZS, okay? We're in the yellow buy block. We have this buy setup right here. 38 points, okay, in the next three to four weeks. And once again, if you miss that, another setup was generated right here. Here's an example in ISRG, all right, intuitive surgical. All right, obviously in a red cell block, but someone would say, well, Steve, I can't sell this. It's been going down for the last month. Are you sure? Well, remember, you never want to go against the market behavior. If the market's telling you it wants to go down, we just go with it. So it's going lower. So let's look for that two bar pattern. Don't really see it anywhere except right here. We just barely closed above the high of the previous bar. So that's your sell signal. I realize it's an expensive $300 stock, but you could buy puts, you could sell, or let's say you were long. You could use this as an exiting signal. All right. Either way, you should not be in this stock. Look what happened. It fell 20 points in the next three days. So you could have saved yourself 20 points by not entering. Let's look at Meta. All right. We have two buy setups using this uh, two bar technique right here. This is coming into July. In the next three weeks, the stock was up 40 points. And once again, market is always giving you second and even third chances to get back in. All right, let's look at Amgen. We have a sell signal generator right here. We're in the red sell block. We're looking for a bar that closes above the high of the previous bar. Okay, well, we closed above the high of the previous bar. So if we're long this stock, this is a good signal to get out. And it's a good, it, it would be a nice sell because we went up higher. And if we're thinking about going short, once again, you can buy the puts or short the stock. It's up to you. Look what happened. It fell 25 points in the next month. All right, let's look at an entirely different market. If you have any uh, currency pair traders out there, here's the Australian dollar. Here's a daily chart of the Australian dollar just about uh, two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, all right? Hard to tell what the market is doing here. We're only looking at one, two, three, four bars, right? Someone looking would say, Steve, how can I make any sense of just looking at four bars? Well, that's why we take all the hard work out of it for you because all you have to do is click on the PTSXT and see if there's a block. And yes, there is. There's a red cell block. So even though you may be saying to yourself, hey, listen, uh, this is just uh, not enough information. Well, the market's doing the hard work for you because the PTSXT automatically, the proprietary tool will set up and signal if you have a yellow buy block or a red sell block. Now that we have the red sell block, we look for that two bar pattern, a bar that closes above the previous bars high. And if you see right here, we just barely close. It's hard to tell. It was about one or two pips above on the Australian dollar. But this was at the beginning of August, just a couple of weeks ago, and you could have taken advantage of 200 pips to the downside coming into last week, okay? That's over $2,000 per unit, once again, that potentially you could have captured. Now, in the courses, we teach you all different ways to exit, different ways to enter uh, other than this technique, but this is just one way to apply this. Let's look at another chart here. Here's a daily chart of the dollar yen. Once again, we're only looking at one, two, three, four, five or so bars here. Not much information, right? Well, all you have to do is apply the PTSXT and it's saying, well, you may not think there's much information, but the proprietary indicator is telling you that you are in an extreme uptrend. And you're saying, how can we be in an extreme uptrend? The last two days have closed down. Well, those are buying opportunities in an extreme uptrend. And if you meet the requirements of this pattern, as we do right here, we closed below the previous bar's low. That's a nice buy setup because look what happened after that. In the next week or so, the dollar yen went up 400 pips, over $4,000 per unit potentially you could have captured using this very same technique. You see, that's the beauty of it. You don't have to change this technique because we're trading in a different market or a different time frame. It makes no difference. You can apply it to any market, any time frame, and any direction. All right, let's look at the AVGO, okay, Broadcom. Once again, a perfect example of how well this technique works. I know this is an expensive stock, but look at, we could look at a currency pair or we could look at an $800 stock. The same rules apply. We closed above the previous bar's high in the next four days, 42 points you could have made potentially. All right, let's look at Charter. 
Same thing. We've been in a yellow buy block for a couple of weeks, but look what happened. We got a buy set up where someone else was telling you, you can't buy here. It's towards the highs here. It's too overbought. Well, there's no such thing as overbought. We've all seen stocks go as high as they want to go. At this point, we got two more buy signals. You could have said, how can I buy at this level? It's really got to be overbought now. Well, look what happened after that. It continued going higher in the mid-August. Remember, there's no such thing as overbought. There's no such thing as oversold. Any market can go up as high as it wants to. I've been trading long enough to see markets go up for weeks, months, even years, straight up. They just keep going and going. And any market can go down as low as it wants to go to. Remember Enron going down to zero? I've seen markets, any market go down just as low as it wants. So to try and pick a top or bottom is silly. It's much easier and be more conducive to being a consistent trader if you simply go with what the market's telling you it wants to do. And that's the beauty of the PTSXT. It's telling you you're in an extreme uptrend. This is the low-hanging fruit of trades. This is where you want to get into a trade when you're in an extreme trend. All right, let's look at the video here, MVDA. Once again, this was uh, generating two buy signals in the yellow buy block, 130 points in the next month. Now, the funny thing about this is that some fundamental announcement was made roughly two days after the buy signals were generated. Isn't that amazing how this spotted a buy setup in advance of the news? This is why we say news is not required. Anything fundamental is not required in order to become a consistent trader. If you feel you need to look at news or need to look at the earnings reports or need to look at the, the economic reports, that's fine. Go ahead. But they're in no way required to be a consistent trader. I stopped looking at news over four decades ago. And if I'm still here trading today, I'm living proof that you really don't need it. And once again, if you miss Buying here at the lows before the big bounce, you still had chances to get in a buy set up here and another one here, okay? Roughly could have still generated 75-point gain. All right, let's look at the AVGO. Let's take it step by step. All right, right off the bat, someone would say, okay, Steve, we're in an uptrend, right? Okay, but, uh, you know, we've been going up for a while, and it looks like we're overbought. So that guy in that trading room says that you have to sell everything, sell your long positions and get out. And, uh, you know, I got a nice little gain. I didn't make a lot of money, but I think I'll get out of everything because I don't want to be holding this and have it make new lows. OK, once again, this is the way most traders make their trading decisions based off someone or something else telling them what to do. What is the market telling you? Because that's the only thing we listen to, what the market tells us. If we apply the PTSXT right here on our platform in the drop down menu, click on highlight signal. And we see that it's still in a yellow buy block. So we're not even going to consider selling yet. Sure, we can move our stop up, but we're not going to just sell and get out of a position yet. Now, we look for that two-bar pattern where a bar closes below the low of the previous bar. And guess what? Right here, okay? We have a buy setup close just below that previous bar's low. 245 points in the next three days, okay? Now, obviously, something caused this to go up tremendously just to take off like that, um, nearly 250 points. But isn't it funny how the market, market was giving us this chance to get in well before it took off like that? See, the market tells you just about everything you need to know. The only trouble is we're not trained to listen to the market. We're always trained to listen to some guy on TV or in a trading room or some news announcement. Listen to, learn to listen to the market and become a consistent trader. Okay, let's recap what we shared with you today. We're talking about the trading process that we went over on this technique. Remember, what you want to do, simple as this, three simple things. Plot the PTSXT extreme trend indicator on whatever market you're looking at. Currency pairs, uh, Bitcoin, uh, could be any type of cryptos, could be futures, could be ETFs, uh, commodities. Stocks makes no difference, time frame, direction. Just plot the PTSXT. Now, if there is no extreme trend in play, you will not see anything appear. But once you plot it, if you happen to see a yellow buy block, what you want to do is look for this particular pattern. And that's where you want to buy the bar that closes below the previous bar's low. All right? That's a buy setup. Now, let's say you happen to click on the PTSXT and you get a red sell block. Well, then. You want to sell the bar that's closing above the previous bar's high. That's it. It's that simple. 
There's no need to overcomplicate your trading. This is a great way to improve your entries by using this simple technique. This is just one of the ways to apply the PTSXT. It's an indicator designed to identify extreme trends in advance in any market and in any time frame. It's based on multiple proprietary indicators and their relationship to one another. But remember, the secret is not in knowing the proprietary uh, uh, formula. The secret is in knowing how to apply it, which is just one of the ways I share with you today. Lastly, it's official. The PTSD XT is our simplest trading tool to apply, as you just saw. It's extremely simple. I mean, there's uh, in the course, we teach you different ways in which to enter. This was just one of the ways I shared with you today. So ask yourself, we're over halfway through the year. Do you think this indicator can help your trading for the remainder of 2023? Finish out strong. Finish out the year strong. If you're struggling or if you're just treading water, that's okay. You can finish out strong with the PTS XT. Let me show you how. We have a great offer for all of you taking time out of your Wednesday afternoon today. We're going to improve your entries with this technique offer. This is the PTS XT Extreme Trend Discount. It generates these high probability zones, these red and yellow sell and buy blocks. You can apply to any market, any time frame. Actually, another way you can use it is to trade with your current strategy. Let's say you have a strategy that's doing okay. It's not fantastic, but it's doing okay. Well, you can take your signals whenever there is a yellow buy block or a red sell block, and you will increase your odds for consistency. That is another way in which to apply it. Or if you'd like, you can build your own strategy based off of the PTSXT. We have a number of students who have done that, and they've had some uh, great success with it. It gives you the confidence to pull the trigger. Now, everything you've seen today has been displayed using the PTS Primo charting platform. This is the only place you can find the PTS XT on our platform because we made it actually simple. So we're going to tell you about a great offer we have. New customers will receive a full year free of the platform. So you need the platform in order to apply the PTS XT. Guess what? You're a new student of ours. You're going to get a full year free. Now, you're not only get the PTSXT with that, you get a host of other indicators and methods that I've accumulated in my 46 years that are yours free to use with your full year of the platform. Things like an enhanced buy sell line that tell you whether you should be in an overall or short term uh, trend, a strength of trend tool, uh, auto generated exit levels. And let me just share with you some of the things you could have done with the signal scanner, okay? Now, this is an older example, but this just happened this past year, and we've had a number of students that swear by the PTSXT now because they tried to figure it out. We know a lot of students that would say, well, listen, you know, Steve, I wasn't a big uh, a fan of this because I figured, like, it's so simple. I know when the market is in an extreme uptrend or downtrend. I mean, you don't need a lot of education to see if we're going straight up or straight down. So once I see that, then I'll just look for this two-bar pattern, okay? If we're going straight up, I'll just look for a bar that closes below the previous bar's low. If we're going straight down, I'll do the opposite. And so why do I need to purchase the PTSXT? Well, you need the scanner because you can scan for nightly setups that are valid setups. If you just want to see how simple it is, all you would have to do is scan, click that on in the drop down menu. You'll see this window up here. Choose whatever symbols you're interested in. It could be an entire indice or, or it could be just a, a, a basket of stocks that you're interested in. But you'll see them appear in a matter of seconds and then just click on scan. And then the red ones that you'll see appear are the stocks that are currently in a red cell block. The green ones are in currently in a green cell block. And it'll tell you how many bars they've been in that block, okay? It's that simple. But you still say to yourself, well, I don't need this. I don't need to scan. I'll just look through a basket of stocks. And uh, you know, if I see a, a straight down market, I'll look for that two bar pattern. Or let's say you see a straight up market like we have right here, okay? I'm not gonna tell you what stock this was, but this is something that a student had mentioned. And they said, why do I need this? Because the stock is going straight up. Obviously it's an extreme uptrend. And what do I have here? Here's that two bar pattern, right? Here's this bar's low and we closed below the previous bar's low. So why would I need the PTS XT, all right? Now, if the student had bought, look what happened in the next three weeks, okay? 
This was a, uh, or actually this was a uh, daily bar, I should say, in 200 points in the next three days. Because look what happened to this stock. It fell more than 200 points. And by the way, this was not a PTSXT buy setup. It wasn't on the PTSXT scanning list. If you all remember what happened earlier in this year, SIVB, this was uh, SVB Financial Group, the banks, when all the banks were falling out of bed and going under, well, this was one of them, okay? Now, what if you had used this and said to yourself, I don't need to purchase the PTSXT, I can just look for that pattern. Well, you would have lost a lot of money. This was not on the scanning list. This was not one of the stocks that was in a PTSXT extreme yellow block up, up mode. So this is why you need to improve your entries. This is why you have to take advantage of this great offer. All right, let's break it down. The regular price is $49.95, but we're going to discount that today. You don't have to pay $49.95. Here's the great offer we have for people watching this week's webinar. A one-time payment of only $4.97. That's less than $500. You can still be up and running and just establish a payment plan of $97 per month. That's it. You don't have to come up with nearly $5,000, just a one-time payment of $4.97 and then a monthly payment of $97 per month. And you can be up and running as early as today. It can be installed and you can have a full year of the platform. Now, if you'd like to pay in full, we'll still give you a discount, okay? We'll discount at 10%. You'll save $500, go down to $44.95. Either way, if you decide to pay in full $44.95 or want to take advantage of that great discounted offer of $4.97, and 97 per month, you'll still get a full year free with the platform. So regardless of what uh, which course you go to, uh, you're still going to get the platform either way. Take your trading to the next level with the new PTSXT Extreme Trend Indicator. Once again, this is our most popular tool because of its simplicity. It's extremely easy to apply, as you just saw. And we just shared with you just one of the numerous ways in which to apply it. There are even simpler ways to apply it that we teach you in the course, okay? Here's how to take advantage of this great offer. Contact my sister site, Pro Trader Strategies. They're in charge of all the marketing and discounts. They're also in charge of the tech support. If you have any questions about setting up the payment plan, or if you're interested about paying right now and you'd like to just purchase this online, I would suggest giving them a call at area code 310-598-6677. They have training consultants uh, manning the phones right now. Be more than happy to answer any questions. There's absolutely no obligation. Just because you call doesn't mean you have to purchase anything right now or today. But if you want to take advantage of this deep discounted offer, you most likely have to do it within the next three to four days, okay? Because then it'll expire and then we move on to something else. Now that link you see at the very bottom is the link that will take you to the sign up page. Also, you can get more information. It's an info page as well, but it's not a live link. We've just posted a live link in the webinar chat box. So if you go to the chat little icon there on the screen and click on that, you'll see a link, a live link, and that will open up a live browser for you, okay? So once again, I'm going to leave this information up here. Uh, so if you'd like to copy down the phone number or copy down the uh, the link or even the email address. And I stated earlier, if you have any questions, we're at the end of the presentation. Now's the time to ask to so go to your question and answer or the chat box. I promise I'll get to them right now. In fact, let me open up the question and answer. Um, Someone is saying, can you show the indicator on the spiders, the QQQs and USO on the daily chart over the last 90 days so we can see where the yellow buy blocks and red sell blocks would have been? Well, unfortunately, this is a static PowerPoint presentation. We don't have live charts availability right now, so I apologize. But once again, if you contact Pro Trader Strategies, I'm sure that they can supply you with some charts, okay? Uh, what is the lowest intraday time frame on the Primo charts? One minute or will it go down to a five second charts? I believe it's one minute. Yeah. Uh, but once again, since Pro Trader Strategies is more in charge of the tech support, uh, my lowest I go down to is five minutes. So I'm not really familiar with anything else. I may have missed it, but they would have that answer uh, for you uh, most likely more clear than, than I would. Okay. Uh, are there data fees with the Primo charts? I don't believe so, but once again, all of your questions are mainly tech support questions, and these are questions for pro trader strategies. See, the way we developed and designed our, our companies are in twofold. Uh, anything with education and teaching and teaching and sharing of the strategies is my department, and that's really those are the questions I answer. So if you had questions about uh, how to how to trade a certain way or on a certain market, sure, I will answer all those. But things in terms of uh, data fees, or timeframes, 
that's those are tech support questions that ProTrader Strategies can answer. Once again, I would give them a call, as you see right there on the number, and there's no obligation. They would be able to answer that in a few seconds, okay? Uh, someone's asking, can we apply this to intraday uh, stocks? Yes. Uh, you know, I don't trade intraday stocks, but I do trade intraday futures. And yes, this works on intraday futures. Uh, when you get those really nice trending runs uh, in any market intraday, you know, some uh, you, they always happen at some point during the day. If you're looking at a five minute chart or even a 30 or 60 minute chart, uh, you can see these real nice setups. So this is uh, really perfect for those. OK. Uh, can you trade the, the ES or CL, which is the crude oil with this? Sure, you can. I would just contact uh, Pro Trader Strategies to ask about the data and ask about the markets. But sure, there should be uh, a simplicity with that as well. It all depends on, on what you're uh, uh, looking at and what markets you're trading, but or what time frame. But once again, that's a uh, sure, that's more of a, uh, a tech support question. But I see there's no remember, as I said, this can be applied to any market, any time frame. You know, when we were researching this project uh, a year or two ago, we were applying it to all these markets, commodities, uh, cryptos. Uh, we had some really nice uh, examples with cryptos going back a couple of years when they were taking off. Uh, currency pairs, when the currency pairs are really in an extreme up or downtrend, you can have some great setups using this technique. And also the stock markets and futures markets. So it really makes no difference what market. Wherever there is an extreme trend, in play deemed by the proprietary indicator, it will generate these red sell blocks or yellow buy blocks, okay? Makes no difference. It doesn't know, enough for, in other words, the PTSXT does not know what market it's looking at. It does not know what time frame it's looking at. It's not based on those things, okay? It's just based on uh, market behavior. That's the, about the most I can tell you right now. Good questions. But uh, Remember, in terms of trading, yes, any market, any time frame, any direction. I share with you a number of examples today, things that happened within the last couple of weeks. So, you know, you can see that this is not, no, we're not just sharing with you examples the way other webinars do, where there were some great, great setups, and then you look and they're two years old. A lot of these things happened within the last month. So, uh, and they're happening all the time. Remember, if you have the platform, if you sign up, you'll get a full year of the platform and you can scan on a nightly basis. One thing I do know, which is more of a tech support question, but I do use at times, you can scan intraday as well. So let's say you're looking at a 15-minute uh, time frame. You can scan at the end of every 15 minutes for different setups or uh, for the PTSXT. So it's it's really great. Uh, there's, there's a lot of great information and a lot of great tools with that great, great discount. Remember, less than $500 you can be up and running as early as today. So if you have questions concerning data, concerning feeds, concerning markets, contact Pro Trader Strategies. There's absolutely no obligation. Once again, give them a call at area code 310-598-6677. The, tra uh, the trading consultants would be happy to answer your question. There's absolutely no obligation. But if you're convinced that this is really gonna help you close out the year, then by all means, take advantage of this great offer before it expires and uh, call them really soon because uh, after I think this week, it goes back to the regular $5,000 price. And that's without that's without the platform as well, okay? So you wanna save yourself a lot of money. Okay, as we close, I just want you to take a look here at, uh, once again, you can follow us on Twitter. And also since we've been uh, live streaming, uh, you can also like us on Facebook as well. And there's lots of great ways to, to, to find us and to take advantage of whatever we're offering. But as we take one last look at our disclaimer, remember um, we in no way can guarantee that any results we just share with you will be repeated in the future. But since we are an educational company, all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Thank you so much for taking time out of your Wednesday. I look forward to seeing you in the PTSXT class, and I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time, and I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.